Hey yo, what's going on to all of my warriors on YouTube? This is of course Mark checking in once again. Coming at you guys with another video, man. First things first, I hope you guys are having a blessed day as always. Happy Sabbath to all of my peoples out there. I'm not sure when I'm going to upload this, but happy Sabbath to you guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed your day. Hope everybody's been staying safe. I just got home right now. Um, today was a fun day. I went to church. Still um, kept it a holy day though. But, you know, it's my mom's birthday today. And uh, we went out. But, you know, spent time with family. But still kept it holy. Um, let me get straight into what I'm about to talk about though. All right, I was actually recording on my GoPro, but I'm not used to speaking on here yet. So I decided to go back to the iPhone, okay? But guys, listen, let's talk about semen retention and leadership. And how does leadership correlate to semen retention and vice versa? How do the two go in hand in hand and this is what I'm learning on my journey right now and I know I'm almost around 30 days I'm not keeping track but I'm doing this for you guys I'm showing you guys the whole process um, as far as physically mentally and spiritually right <clears throat> guys understand the more you abstain from pleasure the more you focus on yourself on this journey the more you're going to get closer to your purpose, the more you're going to get closer to who you really are. And of course, you're going to get more closer to the creator, the most high God. You're going to get closer to Jesus. All right. Excuse me when I'm speaking, by the way, I got my bands in. So. And this is just um, like I said, this is what I'm learning from my journey. You are going to tap into your leadership role because you're going to have that ability to say no when it's needed. And you won't even feel bad about it. You're going to have people, the people that's around you, bro, they're going to notice that you got a change in your demeanor. That, you know, you, you're, you're in your more masculine frame. Your voice gets deeper. Your skin starts to glow. And it's all worth it, man. But guys, listen, you got to put the work in. You got to put the work in. You got to drink your water. You got to do some fasting. You got to eat healthy. You got to wake up early, guys. Nothing is going to fall on your lap. Nothing comes from the sky. We all got to put that work in, okay? And, um, because, you know, I was thinking about it, like, it's just a real honor and a pleasure to be able to come on here and speak my mind and share my thoughts with you guys. Because I have one of my warriors, one of my homies um, out there, one of the subscribers, and he commented and mentioned something about, um, hey, you're very brave for speaking about this because not a lot of people are going to get it and i 100 percent agree bro because some people they see my videos like family members or people that i know in person and they might see semen retention in the title <clears throat> they might see semen retention in the title and automatically assume that what i'm speaking about is something like over sexualized or you know, they, they, they don't know anything about semen retention. They don't know or they may not understand what it's about. But those brothers that are on this journey, you guys know, right? You guys know um, why we're all on this journey. That's my camera, my bad. But understand that. It is a battle out here, man. 
it's a spiritual warfare out here every single day and we got to stay strong my camera is slipping <clears throat> it's a battle every day and um you know not to go off track but going back to what i said you are going to be a leader because you know i get some people that yeah my phone is slipping so i'm gonna do hold it because you know I, I was um i was talking to somebody at the gym right and um you know people watch you bro even the ones that you don't think like the people that you don't think are watching you they're watching you man especially when you get on this journey because you're you're set apart now god sees you now and he says hey you know what my son i'm gonna bring you more into my light i'm gonna bring you out of the darkness and i'm gonna bring you more towards my light right and you know like i said <clears throat> like i said you're gonna be in more masculine frame and that that masculine frame it shows through your actions it shows through your demeanor guys the way you walk the way you interact with people the way you carry yourself that's all masculine frame being cool calm and collect right you know you got your chest up not like you're not walking around like this because i don't know about you guys but i always i always get back pain especially when i release often like no homo right but i always experience some sort of weird back pain but when i'm retaining as i am now i notice that my posture is more up you know and i find that around that 30 day period or you know the higher 20 day period you start to care less and that's from the things that you've been doing for the past 20 30 days right you know you've been improving so you don't have anything to feel bad about you start to realize like oh that's just my old self that's that is who i was before but who i am today is different and um but back to what i'm saying man being a leader you know i was talking to somebody at the gym they see me they watch me and you know we conversated for a little bit and mind you this person this man is older than me bro he's probably like 20 30 years older and you know we just conversated for a bit he's like hey man um i can't remember what he said but i specifically remember him telling me as i'm about to leave like hey man you inspire me and Every time somebody tells me that, it just drives me to go harder. It drives me to go harder. That's why I make these videos, man. Because I understand that somebody's struggling out there right now. You know? And as a leader, for me, speaking on my experience, it is my duty not to, say, not to, not to necessarily save people, but to lead by example. That's what I'm trying to show you guys is lead by example. And to do that by, um, I'm getting a brain fart. And in doing so by just my fruits, right? Uh, it says somewhere in the Bible, a good tree can't bear bad fruit and a bad tree can't bear good fruit through my actions, right? I don't have anything to hide to you guys. I've been honest. Like, if there's something that's happened, bro, I'm, I'm going to be honest, right? But, you know, I've been feeling good, man. I've been feeling good. And you got to tap into that leadership role. And you will on Seamer Retention. You just got to give it time, guys. It's really about giving it time. Don't force yourself to do anything. But understand also I uh, can't remember if I mentioned this but as a leader you will be set apart you know you gonna you're gonna lose people you're gonna have these people trying to drag you into things 
you got to separate yourself for a bit, man. I'm in that separation mode right now, that isolation mode. Right. And, um, you know, to be a leader, it just, it takes sacrifice. One thing I want to mention, too, is that, you know, I'm not religious, but more so spiritual. It says in the Bible, uh, and somewhere in Genesis, I can't remember right now. God made man in his own image, right? And I'm going to talk about this too. I'm going to make a video about my summary of Genesis. But God made man in his own image, <clears throat> right? And before Eve, Adam, the first man on this planet, he had dominion over all things, guys. All things. God made man first, <laughs> 